All right, guys, what's going on? So we are back at FAU Stadium. Today, we're gonna be working on their VO2 max, increasing that with some aerobic power work through the stadium stairs. We're gonna go two minutes on, two minutes off, one minute passive recovery, one minute active recovery on shadow boxing, and they're also gonna be doing nasal breathing only. And so after that, we're gonna go ahead and go into the cognitive conditioning. So we're gonna be working on reaction timing with some several different, uh, several different protocols there and some, uh, some drills that we did with Nick and uh, he's gonna go ahead and explain on that. But again, let's get after it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure the notification, make sure the like button if you like this video, let's get after it. Three, two, one, go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Quick feet, quick feet. One, two, one, two. Yup. Make sure you switch up your feet. Make sure you switch up your feet. One, two. Working those calves now. Let's go. Here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's pump those arms, pump those arms. Keep working, keep working. Non-stop movement here, non-stop movement. Right, steady pace. Nasal breathing only. Let's close that mouth up. All of them. Right, that's the icing on the cake. 15 seconds. All right, come on. More efficient breathing, more functional breathing. Breathe diaphragmatically, it bring you down your heart rate. And rest, good, all right. That's how I want you to blow, breathe in, two to four seconds, blow out, six seconds. Blow out, six seconds. Try to hold it for a two count. Try to hold it for a two count, right? Don't automatically breathe once you blow out. Try to hold your breath for a little bit after that, right? It's getting a little bit of that hypercapnia. Right? Blow that fucking CO2 out. Blow it out. You don't need it right now. Let's keep it moving now. Come on. Keep it moving. Nice, Jake. Nice, Jake. That's it, baby. Good job. Let's shadow now. Let's shadow. Come on, Caleb. Let's go. All right, keep moving. Keep moving. Good job. Open up the nasal cavity. Open up. All right, yes, yes. Breathe, breathe. Nice, steady breathing right here. Nice, steady breathing. Just move, just flow, just move now, just move. We got 20 seconds, keep moving. Come on, Caleb, let's go. Last one for you, last one. Dig, 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 dig. Good job, dig. Keep coming, keep coming. Good job. There you so go. Right away. Come on. There you go. Yeah, still reaction, but now I gotta make a decision. Ready? There it is. Good. All right. Right. Nice. Right. Left. Left. That's right. Hold on. Right. Right. Good, man. Come on, Jake. Yeah, <laughs> it.
All right, so that was a wrap. As you can see, we did our overall conditioning. We went into the reaction drills. Nick, go ahead and tell them what we actually went through and, and why it's gonna benefit them. Okay, so in any sport, especially in fighting, you need to be able to respond quickly to what's happening. So with reaction time, the quicker you can get that, the more time you have to make the right decisions. So we're gonna talk about two different types, simple reaction and choice. So simple just means as soon as you see something, you go and make that choice and do it. Now choice reaction means there's gonna be multiple choices to choose from, like left or right or a different color. So it's a little more decision making in this process. So by training that, it gives you more time to make the proper decisions. So the first drill we're gonna do is gonna be me simply dropping a tennis ball from about 10 feet away. As soon as I release it, they have to immediately run towards it and catch it before it bounces a second time. This is just simple reaction. They have to quickly attend to it and do it and get it done as fast as possible. It's explosive and it gets them really processing efficiently. Now the next drill we do is gonna be two different colors, red or green. Now, when I drop one or the other, they're going to have to decide which side to go to. So on the ground, there'll be some tape, red or green, corresponding with the tennis balls. So whichever one I drop, if I drop the red one, they have to quickly shuffle to the side that matches and then catches it before the second bounce. So this gives them more choices to attend to versus just simply going. And this is obviously good because you can't always just go on the first whim. Sometimes you have to sit back and decide. And that's where that carries over into the fight. All right. So again, if you don't know Nick by now, it's been my boy since high school. Been working with Dustin Poirier. We worked with plenty of other athletes. Essen Barbosa, you know, the list goes on and on. Junior Dos Santos, all these guys. He's been helping me out with the fighters. Check his Instagram out. Put the link in the description, Luck, so we can make sure that these guys are following him. And uh, let me know if you want to see more videos with this guy in it as well. And we may be coming out with a program, so stay tuned with that. All right, thanks again for watching. You know what to do. Hit the comments down below. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification, hit the like button if you like this style of video, and I'll see you again next time. Oh, and wait, if you leave a comment, make sure it's an intelligent one so I can answer it appropriately. Thank you, peace.